Okay, suppose you're going to use the product and quotient rules, and you have a function that has three things multiplied together. How do you use the product rule there? And what you do is this. You can bracket them up in how you want to. I'm going to bracket the last two together. So what I'll do is put brackets around these last two like this. So I've got a bracket around this. Now what I'm going to do is treat this as this one right here as the first function, and I'll treat this entire thing here as the second function. But within that, what I've got is the product rule inside the product rule. So that gives me this. Within that, uh, this is going to be a first function, and this is going to be a second function. So what you're going to have is the product rule inside the product rule. So see what that looks like. Okay, so to start it, I'll work with the black ones first. I'll have y prime would be equal to, now, first of all, just looking at these two black ones, it's the first times the derivative of the second. So the original first would be 2x minus 4 times the derivative of the second. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put those brackets back in here again. So now, do this. Just completely forget about this problem. Just focus on this part right here and pretend this is a brand new problem. And I think I'll switch back to red when I do this. Uh, so what I've got is, just looking at these two, I've got a first and a second. So it is the original first, so x cubed plus 2x, that's the first, times the derivative of the second. So take the derivative of this one, which is 4. So there's the derivative of the second, then plus the original second, which is this one. times the derivative of the first. So that's the second times the derivative of the first, which would be 3x squared plus 2. And then I'll put brackets around that. That's, uh, that's going to be uh, the derivative of the first. And then brackets. So what I've got here is there is the original first this is the derivative of the second. Then I've got plus the original second. So now I'm just going to go ahead and write that thing. So the second would be x cubed plus 2x times 4x plus 3. And if you want to, you can put brackets around that just to help you remember that it's one thing. So what that is, that's the original second, then times the derivative of the first, which is just 2, and you are done. So there is the derivative of the first. So it's actually the product rule inside the product rule. Okay, so that was three things multiplied together. Now let's take a look at this next example. Now what the next example is, is this. It's a combination of the product rule and the quotient rule. And what we're going to have here on this one, I'm going to think of this as being the product rule inside the quotient rule. And then in the next example, we'll look at the quotient rule inside the product rule. So what I've got here is the overall picture here is the product rule. I've got a numerator and a denominator. So I've got, I think I'll write it over here, a numerator divided by a denominator. So the derivative, starting with the quotient rule, would be this. Now the rule says it's the denominator. So the denominator is x to the fourth plus 3 times the derivative of the numerator. Now again, I'm, the derivative of the numerator is actually going to involve the product rule. So when I find the derivative of the numerator, just pretend that this is a brand new problem and use the product rule. So it would be the first times the derivative of the second plus the original second times the derivative of the first, which would be 6x plus 2, and then I'll put brackets around that. So what I've got at this point is this. Here is the denominator. All of this together is the derivative of the numerator. Then now continue with the quotient rule. So the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator so I'll write the original numerator, 3x squared plus 2x times 2x minus 4. 
So there's the original numerator times the derivative of the denominator. So take the derivative of this, which would be 4x cubed. So there's the derivative of the denominator. Now the entire thing divided by the denominator squared. So take the denominator and square it and you're done. So what that is, that's an example of the product rule inside the quotient rule. Now in the next example we'll look at exactly the same problem but we'll change it around where we've got the quotient rule inside the product rule. So let's take a look at that and the answers will look quite a bit different but if you simplify them they'll turn out to be the same thing. So let's try the next one. Exactly the same problem. Okay now I've got exactly the same problem here, but this time I'm going to treat it as a uh, product rule. So what I've got here is a first and a second. So it's going to be the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. But it's going to have the quotient rule inside the product rule. So what this one's going to look like would be this. Y prime would be the original first, so 3x squared plus 2x divided by x to the fourth plus three. And again, what that is, that's the first. Then times the derivative of the second. Well, the derivative of this is just two. So there's the derivative of the second. And then plus the original second, 2x minus four. So there's the original second. Then times the derivative of the first. But I'm going to go ahead and put brackets in here. And now just treat this as a completely separate problem. You've got a quotient rule problem here. So it's going to be the denominator times the derivative of the numerator. So 6x plus 2. So again, that's the denominator times the derivative of the numerator, then minus the numerator. plus 2x, so that's the numerator, times the derivative of the denominator, which is 4x cubed. There's the derivative of the denominator. Now the entire thing divided by the denominator squared. So I'll have x to the fourth plus 3 squared. And then I'll put brackets around the entire thing. So that is the derivative of the first. So the big picture here is this. You've got the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So this is an example of the quotient rule inside the product rule. And we'll back up and look at that second one just for a second here. The other one was the product rule inside the quotient rule. So the answers look completely different, but really they are exactly the same thing. Okay, so there's three examples using some combinations of the product and the quotient rule.